Could you tell us about your primary school? In the winter, there's a bit, I don't know if it's still there, beside the school, we used to call it the Cassie. And if it froze, it was a lovely place for a slide. You could go once, run one side and slide, and then cross the other side, run another and slide back until I think was it Mr. Duthie slipped on it one time. And I think he put salt on it. And spurred, <laughs> our, spurred our games, but <laughs> it was good fun. We didn't have um, canteen to cook meals and whatnot, but in the winter there was a lady who used to come and make soup, and there would be broth one day, and then potato soup. And then, uh, was it not lentil, maybe pea soup? And I think they used to get um, rabbits and things from the gamekeepers who were making the soup. And used to come in, and there was a trestle table set up just along here, and soup, big white enamel pails, and a big ladle, and enamel bowls. And um, we used to get this soup. That was fine. The school must have got sugar and they made jam and a lot of it was gooseberries and whatever fruit was going. And I know we used to take just plain bread to school and then we'd get a spoonful of jam on it. Yeah. And all the good jam, the strawberry jam and plum jam, and everything, it was always a gooseberry that was left. And I still don't like gooseberries. Tell me about your parents. My uh, parents? Well, my father was um, officially head chauffeur at Candy Creek. I had just been promoted to that when the war started. So in the finish, um, he worked on the pool van and eventually Candy Creek had him looking after ponies. He used to take pony and trap down to Bella Beg to get the mail and things like that because of the petrol rationing. Uh, my mum was a nanny before she was married, so she was just at home. That's what she did. What do you remember about your grandparents? Our granddad on my mum's side came to live with us. And he was very good to us. He used to make us all sorts of things. One Christmas, he made my sister and I a little wooden dresser, and we had aluminium cups and saucers that were hung on it. And then another time, he made us a little stove, and it was out of an old biscuit tin, and he cut holes in it, and he had a little coffee tin that he bored a hole and put a thick wick in, and we could light it with methylated spirits. And then he made saucepans out of paste tins, we made wire handles round them, and Sheila and I, we would boil a little bit of potato, or sometimes when the um, wild raspberries were outside, we'd pick them, make jam. Well, we thought we was making jam, but just little things like that. Oh. Yeah. But that was after the war, because my cousin was evacuated with us, and he was most annoyed because... Hitler had bombed his house. Mm. Uh, Grandad was in the, um, on the go at that time, and we built a bonfire and made a, a guy and painted him like, Grandad painted him like Hitler, and we burnt him at the stake. Did you have your own bedroom? It shared with my sister, yes. Oh. Uh, it was my sister. This taught me my first swear word. And she says, well, if you bump your head, you can say this word. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll try it out. So I kept standing on, up on my bed, bumping my head on the sloping ceiling and saying this word. It began with a B. And um, I don't know what my mum and dad must have thought if they'd heard the <laughs> conversation going. 